In this video, I am on a quest to find the best dress shirt in the market today. I've got 20 different shirts from 20 different shirt makers. All the big brands from Buttercloth to Mizzen and Main, Eaton and more. I'm going to try them on, rate them for you and tell you what is the best dress shirt for your money. This is not a normal video for me. I'm usually doing something with travel, something with my family, or maybe I'm sharing an opinion, but I'm not usually reviewing anything, let alone dress shirts. However, if there was something I was an expert on or connoisseur of, it would probably be dress shirts. Over the course of my career, I've bought hundreds of them, and I'm always on the lookout for something comfortable and something that travels well. I travel a lot for work, and it's important to have a nice shirt that I can pull out of a suitcase that is going to look good and I don't have to iron the next morning. I will tell you, I'm not being paid to do this video. Nobody's sponsoring me. Nobody even gave me a free shirt to do this video. I'm just going to give you my unbiased opinion without any agenda. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons here. So what criteria am I using? Well, first would be comfort. Comfort is extremely important. If you don't have a comfortable dress shirt, it's just going to wind up in the back of your closet and you're never going to use it. Also, non-wrinkle performance. All these shirts advertise as being non-wrinkle, but some do so much better than others. I'm going to tell you which ones. Fit and feel is also very important. If I were six foot three and 170 pounds with an athletic build, all of these shirts would fit great. As it is, I'm a middle-aged guy, I've got a little extra weight in the midsection, and not all of these fit perfectly. Some are more flattering than others. I'm going to tell you which ones. Truth in advertising is also important. A shirt's got to do what it says. A lot of these shirts, if you go onto their website or into their store, they talk a big game. If a shirt advertises as being performance and has a lot of stretch, I'm going to hold them to that. In one case, there's a shirt that advertises itself as the perfect shirt. I'm going to see how it holds up to a little bit of scrutiny. Finally is value for the money. Most of these shirts range between $30 on the low end to $160, $170 on the high end. And with all things being considered, is a shirt a good value for the money? I'm going to find out. To introduce these shirts, I think it's important to know the different brands, the different shirt makers. And I'm gonna start with an analogy. Shirts are a little bit like automobiles. You've gotta know the different brands, you gotta know the different automakers. For example, if you were looking for an economy car, you'd probably consider a brand such as Chevrolet or Kia. With dress shirts, you might be looking for something inexpensive in the 10 to $30 range. And there are a number of options out there, such as Van Heusen, Land's End, Amazon Essentials, Stafford, which is a JCPenney brand, Old Navy, and George, which can be found in Walmart stores. Now say you're looking for a mid-range car. You're probably going to consider something like a Honda Accord or Volkswagen Passat. The cars in that range a little bit nicer, more features, a little easier to drive. Likewise, in dress shirts, there are a lot of different shirt makers and manufacturers that fall in this mid-range. You're going to find better fabrics, a little better non-wrinkle performance. Shirt makers include Charles Tierwitt, Penguin, Nordstrom Smart Care, Gold Label from Roundtree in York, Joseph A. Bank, and the Nordstrom's Rack line, which probably represents the lower end of the mid-range shirts. Looking now at upscale, with an automobile, that might be something like a Cadillac, a Mercedes-Benz, or a BMW. With a dress shirt, in this range, you're looking for superior quality, you're looking for higher-end fabrics, you're looking for better workmanship on the shirt. You want unique styles and features such as contrasting collars and French cuffs. Upscale shirt makers include Eaton, Woody's, which is an online brand, Paul Frederick, Brooks Brothers, Peter Millar, Lorenzo Omo, and Untuck It. 
Now there's quite a range here. Not all these shirt makers are alike. Some of them are more upscale than others, but generally in this range, you're gonna find retail price of a shirt between $70 all the way up to $200. When you think of a performance car or a sports car, you're probably thinking of something like a Tesla or a Porsche. And these cars have fast acceleration, they have superior handling. And likewise, with a dress shirt, you're looking for performance. These shirts should fit and feel like athletic wear. They should be stretchable, they should wick moisture away, they should keep you cool, and they should be really comfortable. Performance dress shirts are going to cost between $80 on the low end up to $150. And you're going to find shirt makers such as Truewear, Mizzen and Main, Buttercloth, Johnston and Murphy, and specifically their XC4 lineup, Bonobos, Twillery, also a brand called And Collar, which advertises a performance shirt that is substantially cheaper than all the other ones in this category. We'll see how they hold up. Finally, you have the luxury brands. With automobiles, that's Bentley and Rolls-Royce. And with shirts, you're looking at a starting price of around $200, upwards to $700 or even more. Brands such as Turnbull and Asser, Ralph Lauren's Purple Label, which is not to be confused with the regular Ralph Lauren, which you're gonna find at your local department store. Keton. Cesar Attolini, and these four in particular are focused on kind of a bespoke experience. They kind of blur the lines between a true off-the-rack shirt and a made-to-measure or bespoke shirt where there is a lot of customization going on. You also have some high fashion brands such as Tom Ford or Louis Vuitton which produce really high-end shirts or really uh, interesting shirts kind of designed for the avant-garde wealthy class. I've seen some Louis Vuitton shirts go for over a thousand dollars which is really just kind of ridiculous. For this video we're really not going to dive into the luxury shirt makers or the economy brands. If you're the kind of person who is spending 20 bucks on a dress shirt just go do it. You're probably not watching this video anyway. Likewise if you're spending three and four hundred dollars on a luxury shirt you aren't gonna care what I have to say. However, we are gonna deep dive into the mid-range, the upscale, and the performance brands. We're gonna go in and talk about each one of these shirt makers in depth. First up is this shirt from Nordstrom's Rack, which you can pick up for $35. This shirt fit me pretty well, and I think it looks good. So what's wrong? Well, it's not that comfortable. It's a mediocre quality material. The buttons are really cheap. The non-wrinkle performance is not that great. You're gonna have to pull out an iron if you want this shirt to look good. Now, I have this shirt as my lowest ranked mid-range shirt. In reality, Nordstrom's Rack could probably be an economy shirt. However, for $35, you get what you pay for, and I think you get a little bit better shirt quality from Nordstrom Rack than you would with a brand like Van Heusen or Land's End. This shirt is Joseph A. Bank. You can pick it up online or in their retail stores for less than $50. Now, I like this shirt. It's a casual style, and Joseph A. Bank has a lot of different casual styles as well as more business attire, something you're gonna wear with a suit, a white shirt, blue shirt. That's something to be said about Joseph A. Bank. You get a lot of different styles and selection. Now, this is part of their Traveler's line. They do have a higher end line called their reserve line that's 10 to $20 more. What I don't really care for with Joseph A. Bank is the material and fabric that they use. It feels just inexpensive. It's thin, it's not especially comfortable, it doesn't stand out. So I think that's the downside of Joseph A. Bank in my experience having owned a number of their shirts. I don't really like the quality of the material. I think it is a cheaper shirt, really not too far different from the Nordstrom Rack shirt, with the exception of you do have a lot more styles and sizes to choose from. The Gold Label shirts can be found at Dillard stores and they retail for about $49. For years, this was my go-to Sunday shirt. I really liked it, it was non-wrinkle. I thought it might even be the best non-wrinkle on the market. It's not, but it does pretty well, and you also have a lot of different options available. If you want an appointed collar or a button-down collar, you have some options here. As far as the cons to this shirt, 
Well, there are only conservative styles and colors available. Also, it fits okay, but there's nothing particularly great about the fit, feel, or comfort of this shirt. The body of this shirt runs long. You're really only in awareness tucked in. A lot of shirt manufacturers these days are creating shirts with a different cut where you can wear it untucked in some casual situations, but not gold label. This is an old school tuck it in shirt. The Nordstrom Smart Care shirts have been around for a while, and back in the 2000s, I would buy these frequently. In fact, even trying it on today, this is like an old friend. It might be just my body type, but it fits well through the shoulders. It's also not too long. You can wear these untucked if you desire. Retail price is around $59. And there are a lot of size options and styles available if you go into a Nordstrom store or look online. Also, it's Nordstrom, so there's an excellent return policy. Now, ignorance is bliss. I could have been happy wearing this shirt forever. In reality, there are much better shirts out there for the money. The material is inexpensive here. Non-wrinkle is just so-so. There's not even a place where you can put collar stays. The collar of this shirt is not great. Yes, the Smart Care shirts are a step up from the Nordstrom's rack line, but I'm still not going to recommend this shirt, even if it does fit me well. Let's talk about Penguin shirts for a minute. Now, retail price is going to be all over the map. I've seen these on their website retail for in the $70 to $80 range, although they're frequently discounted, and I see them in stores discounted sometimes as much as 50%. So I put down $50. You're going to pay usually somewhere in that range if you're looking for any kind of deal. And there's a lot to like about these shirts. They have some great styles and great patterns. They also have a lot of different short sleeve styles available. Also, you're gonna find some features that you're not usually gonna find in a mid-range shirt, such as the contrasting inner collar and embroidered penguin logo. The material is pretty good quality too. It does decent with non-wrinkle. What's not to like? Well, in my experience, the consistency of the sizes and availability is a little off. Sometimes an XL works, sometimes it doesn't. However, I'll say that's kind of a small complaint. Overall, I really like the Penguin brand. Charles Turwitt was a surprise, a surprise to the upside. I'd never owned a Charles Turwitt, but I've seen them advertised for years, usually in men's magazines. And my perception of the brand was wrong. I ordered my first Charles Turwitt a couple of months ago, and I gotta say, I really like this shirt. In fact, I like it more than many of the upscale shirts that I'm gonna talk about in a few minutes. This is a well-crafted shirt, and with Charles Turwitt, there are a lot of different styles and varieties and colors to choose from. I picked up this pale green shirt with the mitered cuffs, and it has a fantastic collar with this shirt. In fact, you get two brass collar stays with every Charles Turwitt shirt you buy. And best of all, the deal is always there. You can usually pick these up with a multi-buy where you buy three for $99 or four for $150. And so really a good value for what I think is more of an upscale shirt than a mid-range shirt. If I'm being picky, I would say that the non-wrinkle performance of this shirt is just okay. However, this is a good looking shirt for a good price. I would recommend this shirt if you're looking for value. Untuck it. This is my lowest rank shirt in the upscale category. Retail price is $99. And you're gonna pay close to that. You might find a deal every now and then, but they usually stay pretty close to that $99 range. Now there are a wide variety of styles and colors available. And if you wear your shirt untucked, they pioneered that concept. Also, this shirt runs pretty true to fit in my experience. There are some things I really don't care for about this shirt. When I unpacked it, there were loose threads all over. That's usually a sign that a shirt is just not well constructed. Also, the fabric is just not great. The buttons weren't really high quality. It didn't do particularly well with non-wrinkle. I just felt that this was a cheaper shirt. Last of all, you have the whole concept of untuck it which works great if you're only wearing your shirts in a casual environment, but every now and then you wanna wear it with a suit, you need to tuck it in. And these shirts are just cut a little bit too short. Other shirt makers seem to thread the needle a little bit better where you can wear them both tucked and untucked. Bottom line, I just don't think the value is there with Untuck It. I can pick up a Charles Turwitt shirt, which I think is higher quality for about half the price, or even some of the performance shirts, which I have not yet talked about. 
but are a better value for the money. Lorenzo Omo, this is the perfect shirt. That's right, they advertise this as the perfect shirt. Does it live up to the hype? Well, it retails for $125 and it does have a few good things going for it. First of all, they use a luxurious, thick fabric. It does look good. Also, they have some high quality buttons and I found that's a common thing with Lorenzo Omo is they always use nice, high quality, thick buttons. This also has an excellent collar. However, this shirt does fall short in a number of places. It's just misleading. They advertise this as having stretch, as being an excellent non-wrinkle performer. It's really advertised much like many of the performance shirts out there, and it falls drastically short. There's no stretch to this shirt. It's not that comfortable to wear, and it is literally the worst non-wrinkle performance shirt of all 20 that I tried on for this video. So, Lorenzo Omo, definitely does not live up to the hype of being the perfect shirt. In fact, if this shirt were half price, I still don't think I would buy it. Peter Millar. This is a nice shirt. It's a cotton shirt, upscale. It's comfortable, looks pretty good. High retail price, $148. I do like some of their designs, but really what you have to ask yourself with some of these upscale shirts. Are you willing to pay the price? In this case, I wouldn't pay near $148 for this shirt. I would keep an eye on this brand and maybe if I found a design or a style that I really liked and it was on a good promotion, that's when I would consider it. And really what you can do is you can go to some of the retailers like Nordstrom or like Macy's and on their website, you can do a filter and you can search out and find out if they're on sale, if they're on some sort of promotion. That's really the only way I would buy a shirt like this, comparing it to some of the other brands and some of the performance shirts, which I do like a lot more. Brooks Brothers, this is a big name in the men's shirt business. They've been around a long time. I've owned a number of these shirts and I really like them. It's a familiar shirt to me. Much the same way as the Nordstrom Smart Care line, I would say Brooks Brothers is definitely a step up in quality from that. The material is excellent. It's a well-crafted shirt, and it does pretty well with non-wrinkle. There's also a wide variety of fits and sizes. On the downside, I would say that there's not a lot of interesting styles out there. It's pretty conservative styling. There's not contrasting inner collars. Also, the buttons are pretty cheap, which is interesting for what is a pretty high quality shirt. The buttons seem cheap. Overall though, this is a durable shirt that will last you a long time. You can put through the wash dozens of times. A decent shirt for the money. Paul Frederick is a great shirt maker and they would definitely win the award for biggest selection. I was just on their website. They have 420 different shirts on there including some very unique styles and some amazing patterns, seasonal stuff, and a variety of different colors, Winchester shirts, French cuffs, you name it, you'll probably find something you really like on this website. Also, their shirts start around $135, and what they do is they discount them over time. You can find something on clearance for about $50, and so I split the difference. Usually you can pick something up for less than 90 if you have a coupon or a promotion. Couple things I don't like, their shirts do run big. They're generally very high quality, but they seem to run big through the body. I don't love the way it fits and fills on my body type. Also an extremely uncomfortable neck tag on the inner collar that you really can't pull off. It detracts from the overall comfort of the shirt. Woody's is an online shirt maker and their claim to fame, and they do it really well, is their precise custom sizing. You go onto their website and you set up a profile, you enter in your height and your weight and your normal shirt size, and you basically go through this process and create a custom shirt. It's really more of a made to measure shirt that you get for an off the rack price. And that's $125. And you know what, they knock it out of the park. Their little algorithm that they use it does a really good job. My shirt fit fantastic. And it was well crafted, they used a high quality material. So there's a few things that I would flag them for. Number one, on their website, they do advertise that they're using performance material that has stretch. I didn't think my shirt had much stretch at all. It was an upscale shirt, not a performance shirt. It also did take three weeks to get to me, 
and they usually don't have promotions. That's kind of a small thing, but you're not gonna find Woody's discounted too much. But overall, if you're looking for a precise fit, Woody's might be the way to go for you. Eaton, this is far and away my favorite upscale shirt that I'm doing for this video. And really, I may have miscategorized Eaton. Uh, they are an upscale shirt, but they're really more of a luxury shirt in a lot of ways. In fact, you're gonna pay for it as well. These are over $200 retail price. There are sales and promotions. Sometimes you can get a good deal, but you're rarely, if ever, gonna find one for less than $100. And there's good reason. These shirts are made in Europe. Eaton is a Swedish shirt maker. I don't think they produce their shirts there anymore, but they are made in Eastern Europe. The workmanship is excellent, high quality fabric, a high thread count. You get excellent non-wrinkle performance. The buttons are fantastic. True mother of pearl, not just plastic, but true mother of pearl buttons on my shirt. A very precise fit. You go onto their website, you're gonna find over 200 shirts available, so you got a wide selection to choose from, including some eccentric styles, some florals and whatnot. Really, the only downside is the high retail price, and they don't really have a performance shirts available. Their shirts are made of thick material, so it might not be the best for a hot climate or if it's the middle of the summer, but overall, if you can pony up the cash for an Eaton shirt, I think you should absolutely have one. Uh, some of the best available off the rack shirts you're gonna find. This next shirt is made by Ann Collar. Retail price is $40. And this is my lowest ranked performance shirt. But for $40, it is about half the cost of any other shirt in this category. So you get an excellent price out of the gate. I will say this material is going to do really good for hot weather. It's made of 88% polyester, 12% spandex. And so it also has a little bit of stretch to it as well. And it does decent with non-wrinkle performance. So it is a performance shirt. It does what it says it will do. You do get what you pay for. When I was younger, there was a car called the Pontiac Fiero. It was advertised as an affordable sports car. I finally got a chance to drive one, and I was unimpressed. It was nowhere near as capable as a Corvette or a Porsche, nowhere near as fast. I would say Ann Collar is like the Fiero of performance dress shirts. Technically, it checks the boxes, but doesn't have nearly the quality. The material here is just so thin, you can see your undergarment right through it and it didn't fit particularly well either. I know they market this shirt to missionaries and others who are out working in hot and humid environments and need a dress shirt, and it might be a good value if that's what you're looking for, but otherwise I just can't recommend this shirt as it doesn't have nearly the quality as other performance shirts in this category. Twillery makes performance clothing, they do a good job. Retail price is $99. I think this shirt does a decent job at everything. It may not be the top of the list for any one specific thing, but if you're looking for a good fabric that has some good stretch, is pretty decent at non-wrinkle performance, and is also comfortable, this is a good shirt. The best thing is that you're not going to spend $99. There's almost always some sort of promotion going on. There's a multi-buy where if you buy something like four or more shirts, you get them for $49. That's a great deal. That's what I did. I picked up about a dozen of these for a team that was going to a trade show. And everybody really liked this shirt. Comes with metal collar stays, which is a nice touch. Also, it has an inner lining of this performance fabric. And there's no tags, which I really like. Sometimes the neck tag can kind of provide a little irritation. Don't have to worry about that with the Twillery. Overall, really good shirt. And I certainly recommend it for the value. Bonobos is a menswear line, and they focus on performance clothing for men. They have pants, they have suits, they have a whole lot of shirts as well. I counted over 190 different shirts on their website. You have short sleeve, you have some plaid, you have some floral designs on there. This is their Jet Setter shirt, which is more designed for business and more conservative styling. I really like this shirt. The high quality fabric was excellent. Stretch, it had also some non-wrinkle capabilities that were pretty good. Definitely a step up from Twillery as far as the performance aspect of the fabric. I will say this shirt was cut a little bit short and so it didn't fit great unless it was untucked. Other than that, fantastic. This is a Johnston Murphy XC4 
short sleeve shirt. Retail price is $99. Johnson & Murphy is of course best known for their shoes, but they do have a lot of stores all over the country and they sell a lot of apparel as well. I picked this up in an airport store. And I will say I've owned a number of Johnston & Murphy shirts in the past, both long sleeve and short sleeve. This is my favorite one to travel with. It's got these little airplanes printed on it. And the fabric of this shirt is fantastic, very comfortable. Also does very well with non-wrinkle performance, has a lot of stretch to it. I will say, feels a lot like the Bonobos fabric. I don't know if it's manufactured or supplied from the same factory, but it does feel very similar to the Bonobo shirt. Now, if you're gonna go with Johnson & Murphy, you've gotta go with their XC4 line or their XC Flex line. Those are their performance shirts. They're the ones that are gonna have the stretch. They're gonna have the non-wrinkle fabric. On the downside, I don't see a whole lot of selection. You can go onto their website and they'll have a few shirts available. I love the designs, but not a whole lot of selection with Johnson & Murphy, especially comparing them to Bonobos. Buttercloth. We're getting now to some of the favorite shirts in my closet. Buttercloth retails at $138, but don't let the retail price scare you. There is always some sort of promotion going on. Buttercloth started on the TV show Shark Tank a few years ago, and since then they've really grown. They aggressively market their shirts online, on social media, and there is always some sort of promotion. I've seen 40 and 50% off, or even more in some cases, so keep an eye out for those. This definitely wins the award for most comfortable shirt in my closet. In fact, I own three Buttercloth shirts, and they've got three different kinds of fabric that are slightly different from each other. One's called Long Fiber Cotton, another one is called Icy Cotton, and another one is called Cotton 10.0. I own one of each. I prefer the Icy Cotton, but they are all pretty close. By far away, the most comfortable shirt also has some other features. They have unique styles, they have contrasting inner collars, a lot of stretch. So what's not to love about the Buttercloth? Well, I'll tell you, the Buttercloth shirts don't drape well if you are a bigger guy. If you have a big build, maybe a little bit of a belly, the Buttercloth shirts are gonna fit a little different. They're gonna show every nook and cranny. They're not very flattering if you are a bigger guy. The placket, which is the front part of the shirt where the buttons are, is gonna get a little bit crooked and it's just not gonna look quite as sharp. Now, if you're a really athletic guy or super trim, this might not be an issue for you but I wear mine in less formal situations. I often wear a sweater with my Buttercloth shirt because it just is not that flattering. But the comfort will definitely keep you coming back. I do think it is the most comfortable shirt available on the market. Mizzen and Main is a company that pioneered the whole concept of a men's performance shirt. They were founded in 2012. They're out of Dallas, Texas. For a while, they advertised that they made all of their shirts in the USA. They don't anymore. This shirt was made in Indonesia, but I'm not sure that matters. I'm not sure whether a shirt is made in Indonesia, Vietnam, China, Eastern Europe, or the US, if it really matters. I've seen high quality shirts made in all of those places. And I will tell you, Mizzen and Main does a fantastic job. Excellent stretch, excellent high quality material, excellent with non-wrinkle. This shirt really might be the very best in my closet. There's one that competes with it that I'll talk about in a minute. Easy care, it dries quickly, very comfortable. I like to wear this on a plane. The only con is really it's high retail price. Beyond that, I really can't think of a reason not to own a Mizzen and Main shirt. Truewear is my top ranked dress shirt. This shirt retails for $99. I will say I was surprised because I had not even heard of Truewear until just a few months ago when I started to compile shirts for this video. And this shirt impressed in almost every way. Excellent stretch, excellent non-wrinkle. In fact, I took this shirt on a two week trip to Europe, packed it away and no problem. It pulled it out, put it on, no wrinkles. It wears fantastic, drapes over the body really nicely. I've even been given compliments by complete strangers on this shirt, which doesn't happen too often. Stain resistant as well. I spilled some chocolate on the shirt, wiped it off with just a little bit of water, so it's easy care, very comfortable. 
Only downside is that it runs just a little bit small, so you might have to size up. And there are only a few different styles out there. I think about a dozen. However, for the price, $99, and you can't even get it on promotion, this shirt is a great value. And that's really what distinguishes it from the mizzen and main. They fit and feel quite similar in a lot of ways, but the true wear is a little bit better value Therefore, my top rank performance dress shirt. Now that we've been through all the shirts, let me give you some recommendations. I've got my top five that I'll share with you in just a moment, but I do want to give out some honorable mentions. Penguin, Paul Frederick, Charles Turwitt, Bonobos, and the Johnston & Murphy XC4 shirts are all really good, and I like these shirts. They have unique styles, unique colors, I think if you found any of these shirts on a good promotion, a good sell, I would consider buying one if you like the style. However, what typically happens is you gravitate towards your favorite shirts. You might have 20 or 30 shirts in your closet, but you keep going back to the same ones. That's how it is for me. And even as part of this process, I still kept going back to the same four or five shirts. I'm going to share those with you now. My number five shirt is Twillery. I think Twillery is a shirt I definitely recommend, especially if you are used to wearing a Nordstrom Smart Care shirt or a Brooks Brothers shirt. I think you'll find that you can move up to Twillery. It's about the same cost, and you're going to find the performance material is really nice, and it's a well-made shirt, good value for the money. Next is Buttercloth. Buttercloth is the comfortable shirt. Everybody should have at least one Buttercloth shirt. You'll wear it on weekends, you'll wear it on Saturdays. It's as or more comfortable than a t-shirt. Number three, Eaton. Eaton is the luxurious shirt. Far and away the most luxurious shirt that I tried on as part of this. If I were buying a shirt for a wedding or if I just wanted to look really nice, I'd definitely recommend Eaton. Now, the material is thick, so I don't know if it'd work well if you're out in the heat, but overall that Eaton shirt, it's a fantastic brand and a very high quality shirt that you'll have for years. Mizzen and Main is my number two shirt and really a fantastic one. Drapes over the body really nicely, looks fantastic. They've got some great styles and very comfortable, very stretchy shirt. I definitely recommend the Mizzen and Main. And my surprise number one is Truewear. Truewear does everything well. Probably the best non-wrinkle shirt of every one of them. Also quite comfortable, a lot of stretch. Fits the body really well, is flattering. They've got some decent designs as well. And the value for the money is absolutely there with Truewear. So they are my number one ranked shirt. Some quick tips now on how to save money when buying these or any dress shirts. First thing you can do is go onto the manufacturer's website and sign up for their email newsletter. Many of them will instantly send you some sort of promotional code to save you 15, 20, even 25%. And that can happen instantly. So if you're about to buy one right now, try that. You can save a little bit of cash right out of the gate. Also, I would recommend following your favorite shirt makers on social media, especially Instagram. Many of these manufacturers promote heavily on Instagram. Buttercloth is doing something continuously. Mizzen and Main promotes heavily on Instagram and other social media. Even Truewear, you will find different promotions. So be aware of that. Also, keep an eye out for different sales that happen during the course of the year. President's Day is a big one. There's also usually a spring promotion that many of these do, sometime around Memorial Day. There's a summer promotion sometime in July. And then of course Black Friday is the big one where you are going to save 40 and 50% off. Also, consider buying used. It might not work for you, but you might save a grundle of money. I've bought shirts used on sites like eBay, and it is a bit of a crapshoot. Sometimes you buy a shirt and it works well, other times you buy it, it doesn't fit right, and you don't have the ability to return it. 
but with a shirt like Eaton, I've seen brand new Eaton shirts for $60 and $70 on eBay. And if you buy used, you can even save considerably more. So that is an option for you, especially on some of these higher price shirts. Keep an eye out on eBay for a used shirt. Just be aware that it is a bit of a crapshoot. So there's a few tips for you. Last thing I would say is hit the retail stores. Places like Nordstrom's, Dillard's, Macy's, even higher end stores like Saks Fifth Avenue. Keep an eye out for different sales, different promotions, and sometimes you can find a fantastic deal. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please comment or like below or even consider subscribing. Thank you and good luck finding your next dress shirt.